Hey guys, I just figured I'd kind of walk you through a bunch of the projects I've got going on around here since I'm probably not going to be able to keep up a lot of video output for like pretty much the upcoming few weeks to continue an ongoing trend. Uh, but anyway, it's going to be busy around here because I've got that microwave to still finish up. Well, I was hoping to get that done before I went on my trip, but never have the time. Uh, this thing I need to get fi uh, fixed up, replace some light bulbs in because I'm going to Norway in like four days and I'm taking that with me. Down there's my old car battery which I would be really curious to test and see how it performs because that thing has led, let me down many a time and I'm curious to find out just how bad a car battery can have with eight while still having some amount of uh, capability of starting the engine. And here's the thing that's been keeping me busy for the last week or so, the cheapest grass trimmer, weed whacker, what, what have you, uh, because uh, since I've been gone I haven't had any time to deal with a lawn, that's something you can't do with the internet, and I have spent probably about 15 hours across the last three or four days just cutting a shitload of grass because uh, the only other guy in the household capable of doing that has been suffering an arm injury and that is the class of grass I have been dealing with so you can't just grab a lawnmower and run it over you need to use a trimmer uh, beyond that preparing for Norway in a couple of days. I need to, uh, first off, rake up a whole shit ton of this stuff and uh, on camp of a van because uh, I need to fit pretty much the con entire contents of a small flat in there and that's not going to happen when it's sharing room with uh, an entire camper interior already kind of sloppily started taking stuff out, took the server out and it's looking like that. Still need to undo the bed probably gonna leave the electrics because I still want this thing to I'm gonna re-convert uh, this to a camper uh, when I get back actually because uh, I'll be living in it from time to time if the weather stays nice it's a nice thing to have <sighs> but beyond that I need to do some stuff to my parents' boat there, fix some electrics, and this is something you haven't seen. This is my recently acquired spare parts Peugeot 205, which I need to rip. Uh, well, I want to rip the tires off of this because these are reasonably uh, good. I put them on my trailer over there because that's only got winter tires at the moment. And then I need to grab like a whole bunch of shit off of this thing yeah, and put it on my uh, good Peugeot 205 which is sitting in the barn here. And uh, last yesterday that was my project because this door fell apart so it now opens. That was not the case yesterday. Not the most interesting thing to make a video about. There's a proper Peugeot. So that needs pretty much all the rear brakes transplanted, both front axles transplanted, I need new rubber on the front axles because I'm thinking this thing's never received any service on that. Can't wait. No power steering, so starting the engine doesn't help. Uh, I'm thinking the, all these rubbers are going to be original. Yeah, there's no way in hell we're seeing anything in there. Yeah, I don't, I don't trust those robbers either way. You should not trust used robber. Uh, so that's that's like a fair amount of work, especially on this lovely grassy surface. Yeah. This thing's also got a bunch of stuff that's in better shape than my other one. Uh, this plastic thing is damaged on mine missing some gaskets and stuff. I'm thinking at some stage I'm gonna have to uh, rip the top apart uh, because there's some 
rather nasty valve train noise coming from mine when it's cold, which I don't really wish to gamble with. It would be nice to just fix that top and put it on there instead. This one's also got a magical black box there, which mine doesn't have. <sighs> I need to take care of that. Need to sell the old boat over there. Uh, probably going to end up have to, having to fix something on that car as well. That's not mine, that's mum's mom's guys. And there's just a whole bunch of shit left to do. Last night I was trimming along here for a native line over there. So I need to go to the city to get more line because I'm not running that with a blade. It would take forever. I should probably also take this armor to kind of fix this thing because that's falling off after many years of abuse. Need to weld that, but not on this surface. Uh, so much cleaning to do, I should really sort through all kinds of random trash lying around. There's a bunch of trash I just threw out when I was cleaning over the bathroom. No one's really cared to take stuff out of there. But obviously this has been here since like this winter. So I need to fix the trailer and get all of that trash on there and drive it away. Uh oh, <laughs> also including our old, very old, very rotten through sauna oven thing, which I also cleaned out of the bathroom. This thing is fucked. Probably gonna run that for scrap metal though, along with like some batteries and stuff. Because I'm starting to get a rather considerable amount of all lead acids just lying around. Which I should get rid of. I should also give the time to clean and wax this thing. That looks so horrible. It needs a good polish and clean and everything. This poor car has been rather neglected for the last couple of years. Since I started driving the van, it just kind of sits there for the most part. Which is a real shame because it's such a nice car. Alas, there are only so many hours in the day. But at least now I've got something to take parts out of. Above all, rear brakes, because those are very, very, very expensive. Hmm. Were I a really energetic person, I would probably cut all that grass too. But frankly, I just can't be bothered. That gets to remain jungle. Countryside life. I need to cut all the way around the house too. I haven't gotten that far since I ran out of trimmer line. I should probably fix this gate as well, because this is just trash. <laughs> Literal trash. <sighs> and I should take this trash and draw it away. Old curtains and old batteries. At some stage I kind of want to have a closer look at these guys because they've cracked. I would be curious to just uh, wrench that up and see what's actually how they actually look on the inside. I mean, the real one there is just about to split in two. <sighs> so much stuff to do. This thing actually works, believe it or not. It has a couple of shot bearings, but it works. Like, uh. 
we have a bit of play. <laughs> a bit of play. In the bearings. But it runs into bricks and it's tracing. More trash I need to get rid of there. Uh. More nettles I need to manually cut down. Fuck nettles. Awful plants. That's a vacuum cleaner I need to fix. There are two UPSs I need to fix. In this pile of trash, which I need to clean up, there is a bunch of power tools, including a pretty decent welder, which I need to fix. <sighs> There's just so much shit going on. I'm not even getting into the solar system, which is entirely offline since my one half of my solar panels are on the van. Which is another thing I should probably deal with, I should get myself like some more proper solar panels to have on the van, like uh, flexible ones I could strap on the roof. Uh, because the big 235 watt one just eats fuel. It eats fuel ridiculously, since it's such a big aerodynamically unsaint object. Oh yeah, and I need to fix my EX752 there. Which is probably going to be a decently long project, given the loudness of the bang and the amount of smoke which came out of it. <sighs> and I need to get myself some kind of computer down here. Because using that one for anything other than bench use is very annoying. And I would like to at some stage get like a more proper I would like to get it like a shotgun mic to mount mic my, mic uh, to mount on the camera since I actually do have like a cold shoe adapter for this thing it could, would make this like moving video sound quite a bit nicer or like some kind of wireless lapel thing but that's probably too much of a bother for most stuff uh, I need to clean that box out yeah, I think you get the idea. Reassemble CRTs, I reassemble the fucking CRTs. Jesus, these were a big disappointment. Don't perform anywhere near as well as I want them to. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> you get the idea. There's a lot of shit going on. I'm hoping to be back in like a while. Take care. Cheerio.